I was his uh, first nephew. Uh, my memories of Uncle Will go back over seven decades. Uh, I was the ring bearer at his wedding. <laughs> <laughs> and my little sister was a flower girl. She was following me up the aisle and she was scared to drop the flowers. I had to turn around all the time and tell Kathy, drop the flowers, drop the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Will's memories of me go back farther than that. He constantly reminded me, every time I'd see him, every so often he'd remind me, he says, when you were little, I was changing your nappy, and the first thing I remembered is you peed in my face. <laughs> <laughs> and another yeah. time over the years when I was at gatherings with him, where he introduced me to someone else, he repeated this story. <laughs> <laughs> in the early years, I out to high school age a little bit more. We only got together kind of like Christmases and, and family picnics and stuff, so I didn't have a lot of contact, but... You know, we always had conversations, often kind of augmented by Grandma Poole, who would kind of agree the same things that politically, and even at Christmas time, we got into politics. Uh, my brother and I sailed out to the South Pacific in 66, uh, and um, when I was in the New Hebrides, I wrote 75 letters to different people. I'm sure everybody was included in it. And um, most of those letters took about two to three months to get there, because I had to go by Cobra Schooner to the different islands before they got to Tahiti to get sent home. When I was in New Zealand, I had a lot of letters back and forth on Uncle Will, because at one stage, he thought he might like to move to New Zealand. And uh, I was, you know, contacted government people and found out what sort of forms, what would be required, but that actually, nothing ever transpired out of that. Um, in um, Christmas of uh, 1973, I was living in the New Hebrides, and my mother sent me a picture of my, um, of Heidi. She was a, my um, cousin, and um, she was just a new baby that stage, and I had been away for home for eight years at that stage, so I thought I better go back home. So we came home for Christmas that time, and it was a whirlwind visit for one month that I was here back in the States. And I remember seeing the family and having discussions, but the, the most thing, I, the biggest thing I remember about that trip is I was away for 30 days, and I put on 30 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody would walk me in the house, nice to see you again, and here's a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> In um, 1985, um, I was working based in Bahrain, and um, uh, I did a round the world trip, and uh, we came back to uh, Seattle and uh, on that trip. And uh, at one stage, we ended up, um, the whole family ended up over at uh, my brother's house uh, in, in Eastern Washington. And um, I remember he got up one morning, and uh, it was a nice, nice sunny morning, and there was a strange smell in the air. He kept asking me, he says, what's that smell in the air? And I said, I don't know what it is. And, and uh, I think it was actually a, 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 some sort of a, a herbal. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, that was, that was nowadays legal, but it wasn't at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and I, came back, uh, I came back again in 1990, 1991 uh, to move back to the States. And this time I, um, I had a new wife. And um, he took, this, took me aside to compliment me on my choice <laughs> and, uh, and told me that he thought, thought a lot of men would be envious of me. And uh, um, while I was in, um, when, I, when I came back, we brought about $12,000 with us at the time from New Zealand, and we thought that uh, that would do us for a long time. And uh, well, I had these skin cancers from all the time in the sun in the South Pacific, and um, uh, I had to have them removed, and I had no medical uh, insurance of any sort. My, a new baby daughter had mouth, uh, milk mouth, and had to have some teeth removed, and so we found ourselves basically broke. And so I'm living at home with a new wife, and a new baby, and um, uh, and almost no money. And I was able to do a little bit of contracting work for a company on um, Vashon Island. And Uncle Will sent me a newspaper clipping from Portland. He said, "There's a company here called Benson, and I think they're this in the sort of business that um, you were in." So. It was. It was curtain wall uh, stuff that I've been doing in the Middle East, and so he wrote me several times about that. You should check with these guys. So I ultimately sent them a few letters, and they kept uh, declining. And they finally decided to put up with me and, and give me one one interview. And I went down, and it was uh, they interviewed me about uh, just before lunchtime, so that they could quickly say that uh, that's okay. There's no no room for you here, and um, but at least we've now talked to you and. 
As it turned out, I ended up with a, a job with that company. It's kind of turned everything around. I developed a software system for them, and now I've used that since. It kind of I was to start from uh, from that job. I went back to New Zealand and then to Thailand and back to New Zealand again. We're here now. I've been in the same industry ever since, and and our, our fortunes have definitely changed from the time we first came back. And um, in um, about three years ago, I think it was Uncle Will was went to a peace conference down in um, uh, in Berkeley, and he mm -hmm. needed to have someone to pick him up at the Oakland Airport mm -hmm. and take him to Berkeley. And so I went down, I drove down and picked him up and drove him there, and I stayed the afternoon with them talking, and it was very nice to see that uh, so many people came up to him and were glad to see him, and uh, and he told the story about getting peed in the face a few times that day. <laughs> <laughs> but the important thing was I agreed to come down on the Monday after the, uh, the meeting was over to pick him up so we could have breakfast together at the uh, at the Berkeley at such and such an hour. And of course, coming down Highway 80, there was a wreck in front of me. And uh, by the time I got down to the um, to Berkeley campus, uh, he was outside with his suitcase ready to go. And uh, so we never did get our breakfast, but we did get to the airport on time. But, as it turned out, the plane was delayed anyway, and he got his breakfast at the airport that day. Uh, two years ago, in September, um, in my mom's, what was my, to be my mom's last day, Uncle Will and Aunt Mabel and cousins, everybody came up to uh, to uh, Silverdale, Washington, where my mom was in a in a in a home there. And um, my mom and I always wanted to kind of go back to the house we had in Kingston in that stage to, I guess, to finish her time there, but. She just couldn't be cared for necessarily there. And she always wanted to see her baby brother again. She thought she'd never see her baby brother again. And so we all met for lunch in, in Silverdale. And then as a troop, we went over to uh, where my mom was. And um, we all got together. And I sent Uncle Will in first. And mom was laying on the bed. And she hadn't spoken much. said they hadn't moved very much. And um, Uncle Will knelt down next to her and said, Rosie, it's your brother Will. And her arm came off of the bed and gave him a big hug. And it was sort of like the moment. And that was a day that um, we all had uh, 10, 15 minutes with her. And around about 4 o'clock, we all decided to leave for the day and um, come back and see her tomorrow morning. So we drove back to our home in, in um, Kingston, where we were. And um, Fred and Uncle Will and everybody went to back to, uh, to Silverdale. And we were home for about 10 minutes. We got a call from the um, home. Mama just passed. Mm -hmm. And so I called Fred and said, hey, um, when your dinner's through, let, uh, let them know Mom's just gone. And um, evidently, look on his face, Aunt Mabel said, she's gone, isn't she? Mm -hmm. And so they were much closer. They were able to get back uh, to Mom um, and see Mom.